Hi, welcome to Fiber Chats. My name is Irina, I'm the host here. And today my guest is a Brazilian YouTuber, knitter, knitwear designer, and instructor, Iris Alessi. Hi, Iris. Hi, Irina. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank, thanks for the invitation. I'm very happy to be here. Well, I wanted to start with your YouTube channel, actually, out of all the places. What made you decide to start it? And what was your idea for that? So uh, I started a YouTube channel with an uh, idea to share tricks and hacks for uh, needers because we, we, we see lots of uh, tutorials, uh, needing tutorials, but we don't have, uh, in Portuguese at least, uh, YouTube channels talking about uh, things that you have to know about needing, like how to do the gauge, how to choose the yarn, how the difference between uh, kinds of fibers, wool, cotton, uh, and other kinds of fibers. So I thought that I can share this knowledge that I have with Brazilian Brazilian leaders because I, I didn't find this, this, this material on YouTube. So uh, because I'm journalist too, so I like to 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 share this kind of knowledge. So I like to to search for this information and share with my audience on on YouTube. It's different because most of people like the tutorial when you take the needles and do and make the knitting. But I think that. When we are we are a good knitter, we know the do the knitting, but you that you have to to know the the basement of the, the knowledge, the written part, the the the, the, the part that we don't you, you just it just to put in the, the brain. So you have to to know this this knowledge. What was your journey with YouTube? Like you posted that first video. Was it easy for you to gain the audience? Like, was it immediately people finding you, subscribing you, or was it difficult? No, I, I think uh, for me, YouTube is very difficult to grow up with the audience. It's because I don't put some tutorials. I, I know that when I put, uh, some weeks ago, I made a challenge with needing five days in a week, where in, we, we was needing a, a shawl, a free pattern shawl for mine, and lots of people come to the channel. But when I put just uh, regular interest, and people don't like it too much. But I think that people should should know this, and I will insist with this content. content. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about how you started, when you started knitting. So I started when I was a teenager. My mom teach me, uh, and I I learned the basics. Just a uh, uh, cast on one kind of cast on, knit and per stitches and bind off. Uh, yeah, basic bind off. So I started with a cast on very tight. That is knit knitting knitting cast on in English. Right. So I, I think it's very tight and. Most of my t-shirts, my sweaters, start with a not so good uh, rib because, but my mom teach me and for 10 years, I, at least, um, I, I, I just do the basic and the basic for me, cast on, bind off, for stitch, uh, knit stitch and cables. Uh, I learned cables very early when I when I started to knit. So, but I am very curious. So I, I bought some magazines. It's be, be before the internet. So we I have to I had to look uh, uh, for magazines, and it was too very 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 basic. So um, I learned just just. Little things in in, in at, with knit with knitting, eh? So, like from that point, right? You're starting with your basics, and now you're suddenly a knitwear designer who sells your patterns, 
who, I mean, I saw some of your stuff and it's not simple any longer. Like you have brioche, you have everything, any, any technique out there, basically. What was that journey like? What, how did you learn? So in 2010, I met some Yahoo groups and Google groups uh, that talk about knitting, Brazilian uh, groups so talk about knitting. And uh, we, I have in my house uh, a best connection uh, with uh, that I can access YouTube channels in uh, any time of day. So I start to to look for looking for more information about knitting. I I saw that we have a lot of things to to learn to 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 do to to make it in eating uh, so i i really uh, be very in, uh, went very impressed with this technique with the possibility that we can do just with four things because it's four things cast on bind off with for in in it so uh, with a little changing we can do lots of things so i start to to learn about i bought uh, co co courses of in 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 craftsy i bought lots of patterns on revery i i i, I really jump in this this world of knitting mm -hmm. and i start to learn lots of things i learn uh, that we have Interchangeable knitting oh, and needles. I became a, a very crazy girl about knitting. So I, I learned about fibers. So up, up, in this point, I I I, I consider that I become a knitter, a really knitter. Right. Well, I mean, have you ever thought about like it's one thing when you knit and you like even know like some advanced techniques, right? But then you decided to become an instructor and you actually teach others how to knit. What was that process like? Like, when did you decide that you want to teach? Until 2015, I'm just working with, I'm just working with, in, with journalism. I was um, a writer in a magazine so after this i i worked in um i don't know if you have in in usa but it's a council with uh it controls some 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 professions like medicine and law lawyer so i worked in a architect architecture council who works with the press and the clients so uh who made the uh, uh, press releases the newspapers and the te television so i uh, i was doing my things in knitting but i'm just uh as a hobby someone who, someone who loves knitting like a hobby like uh things that we we like to do we like to make it when we, we spend our time so in 2015, I started to teach some people would like to learn some top-down uh, sweater, like this Haglan sweater. And I stopped to work with journalism. And I, I thought it was August or September. I thought, oh, it's almost the end of the year. I will try to do some, um, uh, some classes and some uh things to do i i was do i was doing crochet too so I, until the, the the december i i didn't we were looking for some a new job so i started to get, uh, do some workshops and some classes particular classes and uh these things start to to teach people start in this in at this point and at this point i start to 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 teach because uh, a person do a class and ah, I learned something with Iris, so I will uh, recommend Iris for another person, and uh, these things will be is getting 
bigger and so I don't have time to look for a new job in journalism. So I, I simple uh, change my profession like this, but it's not like wow. Then in the, in the for one day for another day. So it's, it's the things will slowly progress basically. Yeah, but growing progressive. So uh, until the time that I in the end of the 2016. I don't have time to give in classes right. because I have a lot of classes and uh, yarn stores and particular classes too. Well, I mean, when you were teaching, did, did you have like exact teaching plan? Like what you're going to teach, how you're going to teach, or was it also learning for you how to become a teacher, how to teach, how to properly explain stuff? Uh, I actually I I was asking for uh, who um, I am teaching what you like to learn what you know uh, what you know about knitting because uh, sometimes uh, maybe when I was teaching in yarn stores um, there are persons who 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 there are people who ask I would like to mm, uh, like to make a sweater oh, okay but you know what you what you what you know what you you can make with two needles i don't know do uh, make anything so i i, I don't know <laughs> n- n- even cast on uh, the person don't like don't know so i always ask what uh, everyone know everyone can do can and can learn because it's i think it's very important you for me like teacher, uh, understand where you are, like right. student, where you, because there are persons that, I, I don't know, make anything, but the, the person knows, but she, she don't know that she knows. Right. She, <laughs> you have to practice, you have to, um, someone uh, helping her to, to do the knitting, but Actually, she knows, and right. another person don't know everything, every anything, and you'd like to make a big project. So, uh, this is my plan. Uh, first of all, understand where the person are that in needing where the person are. Well, I mean, if you look at yourself, right, at your life as a knitter. Where do you think you are in the li- in the knitting line? Like if if one is a beginner and ten is an expert who knows absolutely everything, where you are on that line in your in, oh. in your view? <laughs> I don't know. I I don't like to say that I know everything because I think everything is too many things. I I'm I'm a very curious person, very curious. So. When I discover something new, I I love to practice. I love to use in my patterns. I love to teach. So I don't know everything. I'm I'm thinking that I am advanced advanced knitter. Um, I don't I don't have afraid to do the things. I don't have afraid to to make mistakes with knitting. Um, I don't have afraid to. Unravel the 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 revel, re, unravel unravel right the the needing so I like to try I like to have experience with needing I have to to learn a lot but I don't think that I am I know everything so <laughs> I have lots of things to 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 learn uh, for example uh, I love the continuous method. For the shirts, I learn about it, but I never knit a sweater or a, a blouse or a tee with continuous method. So I, I would like to to knit a a, 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 a sweater, and after this, uh, try to to make a pattern with this technique, because I know I I I studied. The technique I know they like do the maths, but I don't put into practice. So I'm I'm 
I like to study, but I don't have time to do every, every, everything that you will love in meeting. Well, let's talk about your time management. So you design the patterns, which is takes time because you need to test them, you need to take pictures, you need to market them, you need to actually write the pattern and publish the pattern. That's all takes time. Do you always need what you design? Like, do you ever need other designers' projects? Yes, yes, I do. I do. I'm, I'm, I bought a yarn to make a hohi sweater. So I, I, I like to mix my designs because it's, um, um, it's a job that we have uh, use a very lot of our uh, energy because you have to do the math. You have to to all this process that you that you said about um, uh, design the pattern, think about the concept of the pattern, uh, do the gauge, do do the write the, the pattern. So it's a it's a very uh, it's a, a process that you stole my my energy. It's all my energy. So I. I always look, got, look, uh, like to have uh, another design pattern just to knit, just to right. relax, because it, it's my. I I have an, a process now that I write all my pattern before knitting, so I try to to write the most most of part part patterns part of pattern to when I finish just knit and will correct some things, but. After this, I like to have uh, another project just to not stay with knitting. Right. Well, is there like ever a time when you don't knit? Like are there days when you don't touch the needles? The, uh, there are some days that I don't don't touch the needles, but it's sadly days. <laughs> 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 there are sadly days. Uh, uh, sometimes I I... I can't. Uh, I I couldn't take the the needle so on today. I can't because sometimes uh, um, some days I have classes so I don't have time to to take even the pattern that I'm creating. Uh, I don't have time so sometimes I I can't. I try every day at night when I sit with my sofa with my husband to try to knit a, a little. So I, I take uh, some uh, swatches or something. I try to do every day, but sometimes we I can't. Right. Well, show us some of your work because I know you have some stuff next to you. Can you share what you've done? I'm using my, uh, my last uh, design. It's uh, Capri T or Capri. It's a T next because... It's a circular yoke. I love circular yoke. I think that's very good. It's, a, right. it's more, oh, more, my, more, more. Uh, uh, yes, and and cues. Here in Brazil, we can we have to use some fresh uh, pieces because uh, it's a very uh, hot hot. hot country but even i i live in the south but we have a lot a lot a lot of hot so but my my passion is shows i love to make shows i like to design shows uh, and my last it was malaga it's a very huge show it's beautiful uh, it's like a wrap so and it, it's made with a, uh, oh my God, it's made with a uh, Brazilian, Brazilian wool called Fios da Fazenda. It's a farm yard, you can say it's a farm yard. And they are in the so far of Brazil and they made a merino, merino yard. And some of the, the dyers are made with uh, natural, Natural material plants, yes, and not natural. So the, the, it was the last one, Malaga. 
uh, ah, my I like to put in the name of my patterns the uh, uh, I use places like Malaga, like Capri, like Marrakech, because uh, it's so difficult to put naming our designers. It's so <laughs> difficult. So when I start to put number places, I think it, that's it. There are many places in the world. I have a lot of things to number places to 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 give name of my patterns. So this is Marrakech. This is made with a merino sock. I love this. Uh, malabrigo, malabrigo sock of Malabrigo yarns. Uh, I love lace patterns. Right. I love to, to make lace patterns. I love to read lace patterns. I love the charts. I, I, I'm very happy when I'm doing and I can... Uh, record the, the list pattern in my mind. I, I think it's very good. And he is another one. It's more one with uh, Fils de Fazenda yarns. Uh, this is Flevoland. And it's a boomerang show. Right. And there are some mosaic knitting here. And it's a very easy show. To, to start to knitting because it's just um, getter, getter stitch and this mosaic yarn, this mosaic stitch here. So I'm, I'm, I'm crazy about shawls. I start to learn with shawls, uh, techniques with shawls. So I'm, I'm, I'm crazy, I'm, I'm, I love, I use all, all my shawls, not, not a days because I'm most of the time at home, but when, when I go to outside, I like to, to use my shawls to, to, to walk. Right. Is it difficult for you to write pattern? Like, was it also a learning experience for you how to write the patterns? So you don't over explain yourself, but you explain enough. Like, is, is that something you had to learn as well? I, I think it's, it's, um, there are a thin line be, uh, between what is enough and what is too, too, too more and too, too, too less. Because I don't know how can uh, how it works outside of Brazil. Uh, I most of my patterns I sell to Brazilian leaders, uh, and the feedback that I have it's. Ah, your pattern is very well written, right. but I don't know if it, what I saw with the other designs, the other cups, that the your patterns are very shortly com, com, uh, compared with mine patterns. Oh, really? So I don't know. It's I, I think it's because the culture. I think uh, Brazilian likes the minimal the, the details in the patterns. So when they they, they find an um, adult, they ask to, to to us. They don't have afraid to ask. So Iris, I have a doubt here in this part. Uh, this part of pattern, they ask. It. So I like to put a lot of information in my patterns. But I think that Brazilian knitters like this. Right. I don't know if I am selling a lot for. USA needers, uh, they will, they will, you like this huge patterns. <laughs> well, I mean, is that your dream? Is that your ambition to like break into the US market as well? Like, are you, are you thinking about publishing all your patterns in English to sell to other countries? Yes, I, I really like uh, some of them, uh, like Flevoland. I have already translated my friend Barbara and my uh, she is a Brazilian leader, but she's a English teacher too. So she translated it, but um, I don't have time to put in the layout to put it on rivalry. Um, another ones I don't, I have have already the translated, but. Um, because of I pay to to translate the patterns, sometimes it's not very 
too good for me because some of them don't sell a lot to pay this translating. Right. So, but I, I really like, I have to do this. I actually, it's uh, something that I have to do. So I have to finish it right and translate at the same time because it's easier to, to publish. But uh, sometimes I don't have time to do. Do you plan like <laughs> far ahead? Because, okay, I'm like, from what I'm hearing, right? You're designing, you're knitting other people's patterns, you're teaching, you have a YouTube channel, and then you have the husband and the dog and like whatever, all the household things that like other people have, right? Do you, are you like a very good planner? Do you have everything like planned by the minute? Do you know what's happening in 2022, like every month? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm now I'm using a... Um... I'm using a tracker to control my my time a day. I'm mailing the patterns. I I like to know how many time I spent and uh, how much time I spent to making creating this pattern because I have bec what why because I selling this I have to know it's uh, it's a good pattern to sell or it's what the result was good I spent a lot of time creating this pattern so don't sell it what I need to pay because it, I, we are it's our job you have to right. be paid by this so I, I, I like to track the time that I, I spent uh, mainly create this pattern so I, I track the time of the classes, preparing the classes too. Uh, I, I like to try to track this. How much time do you spend on Instagram? <laughs> uh, not, not a lot, not a lot. I'm, I'm very in this tracking that, that I, um, uh, um, uh, a top uh, calls, uh, uh, call it uh, Instagram, YouTube. I put everything in the same basket. But uh, not a lot of time. I try to just uh, choose a thought, make a, 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 a subtitle of the uh, subtitle, not uh, the 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 post description. Description, uh, yes. And just a, a few minutes, I, I I see the stories and uh, some other. Sometimes I, I spend a lot of time uh, answering people on direct messages. Uh, I think it's spend I spend more time here in direct messages that uh, seeing other designers' photos and stories and um, posting co content. So I, I, nowadays I'm I'm I I don't spend more than one hour in a day in Instagram. Well, I mean, what's Instagram for you? Like, how do you use it? Is that your source of inspiration? Is that where you find new audience for yourself? Is that where you like see what other people are working on? Like, what do you use it for? More for the new audience and keep my audience um, engaged because Brazilian loves Instagram. Brazilian people love Instagram, so uh, most of my sellings comes for Instagram too. So I keep my audience um, um, engaged uh, on on Instagram. But uh, inspiration, I, I prefer to looking for in another places. Like I, I like to find things in Google and Reverie and and. Sometimes I, I like to keep away from other needles to create without uh, things that you are. It's an inspiration or it's a cop because right. there are many things in needing. So I like to keep my mind clear to, to looking my real inspiration, something that it's mine. It's not, I, I saw that blouse, I saw that sweater. So I, I do something um similar similar or or like with that that construction so I, i'd like to keep away with some some this kind of inspiration to not to 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 have my inspiration to have my the things that i like in my patterns not the things that i saw in the other patterns that i like 
Well, when you think about like your next design, are you very pragmatic about what you're going to design? Do you think like, okay, now it's springtime, so I need to make t-shirt because it's hotter climate, so we're going to do something light. Like, are you concentrating on seasons, on what's in fashion? How do you decide what's coming next? So is it purely artistic? Like whatever idea inspires you at the moment? I need to do this. I need to focus on seasons because here in Brazil, we need to actually need more patterns for summer. Uh, I, but I'm uh, crazy about inter, winter. So I like to need things for winter. So I like ne- uh, last year, I, I need a lot for winter. This is my first pattern with uh, short, <laughs> yes, for leaves. I'm 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 designing another uh, uh, t-shirt with uh, short sleeves. So thinking about Brazil, but um, I can I can't yet program my 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 time into for this because sometimes I'm I, I want to design a new show, so I I will do this new show. I'm not uh, keep my 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 time is so prag- pragmatic uh, with this 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 season but i have to do this because brazilian leaders need it need right. some actually uh, summer pieces uh, they they need well i mean when you design also right so you can design a show and make it like that garter stitch and slip stitch make it simple but it looks sophisticated or you can do a lace shawl that's going to be like very hard and have limited audience, right? Do you have that in mind when you design or you just design what you want to design and hope that the audience, the right audience will find it? Um, I, I think both. I think both. Uh, it's be- like Malaga. Malaga, it's a very, I don't know, Malaga, it's difficult but I think that they have lots of techniques because Malaga started at, in the center right so uh, neither ha- uh, the neither have it will meet it or have to be have to have practice with um, the pens or with a magic sure. magic loop and to do this so but I like to put these techniques. I, I like that um, because it happens with me. I like that we learn a lot when you put some mixed techniques in this these patterns. So here I mix a lot of techniques because I start with this big square and now we have a uh, lace. Lace and so we slip the stitches here. I don't know if you can see here, yeah. But I like to mix and I like to have some spices. I don't know how they, they you say it in English, but we say spices here, uh, a different kind of uh, buy and off. So I like to bring this. So when I when I design something, I always looking for bring something new for who will bought my patterns. So. Ah, what I will learn in this 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 pattern. So I I never start with with uh with in the center of a, a piece. So the person will learn some like this. This one, um, most like knitting. It's I, I think it's very simple thing, but it's not uh, everyone who who made this, né? So I I put this. And this is um, Netflix. There are Netflix time when you do the getter stitch right. here, right? And I I like to to bring this 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 spice for my patterns. I always trying to teaching to for for who is needing. So if you're not teaching or if you're not uh, knitting or designing, what else do you do? Like, is there anything else? that you enjoy doing outside of knitting? Outside of, ah, I think that will be a journalist again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I love to be, I, I, love, I love to be a, a journalist. I think that knitting and journalism brings someone 
something to me that is very special, that it's meeting person, persons, uh, meeting, meeting people. Uh, it's, it's, if not the meeting, we wasn't talking today. Uh, I like to listen to the stories of people, the... I don't know. I, lo I love people. I love people. So meeting and journalism bring this, 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 this people for my life. So I like to, to know the, the things. I like to, to count the, the, to, these stories. So it's not count. It's uh, to tell this story for, pe for people. So I think that I will be a journalist again. I, I, I love, I love stories. I love you know what I find interesting that like when you think about knitting, this conventional idea is that there is some grandma sitting in the chair and knitting all by herself. But in reality, that's not the thing. And that's not the life of a knitter today. And it's became this community building and getting people together through knitting. Yes, is it is is this I love to to make it bridge. With person, I like. Well, I, if you if you ask it to me, Iris, sell someone that you like that you know. I, I have a lot of person to 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 talk about because I love I love to to know the person. I love to to know this his uh, his stories, uh, their stories, and um, I like to sit in a in a table with lots of needles and. Everyone is telling about our life, uh, his life. So uh, this, this is that the, mo the thing my most uh, make me most happy happen when I need. I, I, it's crazy because I have I know I know you that you live in, in USA. Uh, Filipa Carneiro, who is from Portugal, uh, another knitters in. Mo many parts of the world that I never see personally, but I can I can I consider a friend. So because you need to connect persons. Right. persons, it's like another language that we can use to connect with anybody in the world, basically. Yes, yes. Well, I'm so happy you agreed to be on my channel today, and I hope uh, some of my viewers will find you on Instagram or on Ravelry and follow you, and you know you'll meet some new people through me. Thank Irina, you. thank you, thank you for the invitation. Uh, sorry for Charlotte. Charlotte, it's a very, it's a, um, a, a doll, a teenager, a teenager <laughs> uh, dog. So sorry for for her, yeah. but I love the invitation. Thank you for uh, open this space for me, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love meeting you. <laughs>